Hi, my name is Robert Mack with Keller Williams Realty in Orange County, and today we'll be discussing how's the market, and if you're a buyer or seller, what are the top three things you should do? Thanks for tuning back in. So how's the market? If you're watching this video, we're in June right now, and it's a very hot selling season. If you've seen my videos in the past, you've heard me say on multiple occasions that in March, the inventory starts to grow and in April, it really grows. And by May and June, we've got a lot more homes in the market than we did in January or February or in the winter months of 2016. Now, as inventory grows, buyers have more options. And as buyers have more options, demand tends to fall. However, although this market is pretty active and aggressive in certain pockets, it's very unpredictable because in the past when inventory has gone up, we've seen the market stabilize and shift and somewhat slow down. But this year that hasn't happened yet and it may not happen. Only time will tell. So the bottom line is, is there is great opportunity in the market for buyers. There's also great opportunity in the market for sellers. So I want to spend a few minutes today talking about what are the top three things you can do, whether you're a buyer or a seller to set yourself up for success. So if you're a buyer and you're watching this video, the first thing you should do is to get pre-approved. You've got to sit down with a lender. You've got to educate yourself on the different types of loans that are out there. And you've got to really understand what loan is best for you. And what is your monthly payment going to be out the door? So you know exactly what you're getting into. What you don't want is to be surprised when you find the home of your dreams and then find out that it's above your comfort level. So getting the pre-approval process started way ahead of time is going to give you a lot more options and a lot more certainty. The second piece of advice I could give any buyer out there is to make sure you understand exactly what you're looking for and why you're looking for it. Many times when I sit down with my clients, we talk about what they're looking for and they start to throw out different things. And then when I dig deeper and dig deeper and start to ask them why they want this or why they want that, they start to realize that what they really wanted initially wasn't the most important thing in their big picture. So understand what you're looking for and why you're looking for it. Because in my experience, when someone has too many options, it's very difficult for them to make a decision. So you don't want to have too many options moving forward, but you want to have just enough so you can find the perfect place. And the third piece of advice I could give any buyer looking is to choose a realtor, create a relationship and have a huddle, which means you basically sit down with your realtor before you start looking at homes and you put together a strategy. Now, every minute you spend in planning is going to save you 10 minutes in execution. So if you spend maybe a week putting together a plan, it's going to save you 10 weeks of going through the whole process of looking at homes, maybe being outbid and not getting the home of your dreams or your offer accepted. So 30 or 45 minutes before you actually get the process started will go a very long way and it should not be overlooked. Now, if you're a seller out there, the best advice I could give any seller out there is to make sure your home shows nice offline and online. Right, so this involves things like being open to and seriously considering staging your home or decluttering it or maybe having an interior designer come through and give you some advice on how to maximize the space in your home, right? Not every home is perfect. Some rooms are smaller than others. Some are bigger. You wanna make sure you use the right furniture. All that stuff matters more than you know. You also wanna make sure that whatever agent you hire is going to be taking professional photos, maybe a video tour of your home and the area, uh, maybe a virtual walkthrough. You've got to keep in mind that many buyers are coming from out of the area and don't have the ability to come take a look at your home in person. So when they can go online and they can watch videos or see photos, it's going to give them a great indication of what type of home they'd be buying if they were going to move forward. Secondly is price your home right. The market is aggressive. Homes are selling quickly and in many cases with multiple offers. But if a home is overpriced, buyers are simply going to shift their focus to another seller who has a more realistic price because again, there are more options on the market for buyers and your home is not the only one. So make sure you understand the market, you understand your active competition, the current inventory in your area, 
and all those other factors. What did homes sell for last month versus two months ago or three months ago? Understanding the trends, all that stuff matters. Pricing your home right is gonna allow you to sell quickly. And also, if you can generate multiple offers, will allow you to leave no money on the table. And if I know any seller, they don't wanna leave any money on the table, they always want top dollar. And the third bit of advice I could give you as a home seller is to hire an agent with the right marketing plan. Don't just hire an agent based on how much they're charging. Many times, an agent who charges more can actually help you sell for a higher net. I'm gonna say that again. Many times, the agent who charges more can help you sell your home for a higher net. So don't just get focused on what you're paying your agent. Understand what they're gonna do for you and your home and how much they're gonna sell your property for. And then look at your bottom line, okay? You want to make sure you hire an agent who has a strong presence in your area. You want to make sure that you hire an agent with a strong marketing plan, great negotiation skills, and a team of people on the back end that can help you achieve your goals. Now, if you're an investor, if you're an investor out there and you're thinking about buying or selling, this may be a different conversation. So you can please reach out to me if you have any questions about it because investments can be very complicated at times and it's always a case by case basis. If you found value in this video and you found this on social media, share it, give us a thumbs up, comment or leave a question. I'd love to engage with you and hear more about what you think. If you have a specific scenario you want to talk to me about, uh, you can always reach out to me. And if you've got any video ideas you'd like me to expand on in the future, send them my way. Until then, happy selling.